a short note on the anti-anginals. The following are the group of drugs that are commonly used as anti-anginals. Nitrates, as we know, is the most common group. Isosorbate dinitrate gives you symptomatic relief from chest pain if it is due to angina. The other group of drugs that can be used are the beta blockers and evabradin. Even rate limiting calcium channel blockers in the form of verapamil and deltaism can also be used because they can cause bradycardia and decrease energy consumption. The other drugs that can be used are nicorandil, trimetazidine and ranulosin. Nitrates. It acts by dilating the coronary arteries thereby increasing the perfusion to the myocardium. It also dilates the peripheral veins so the blood gets pooled in the peripheries in the legs hence decreasing the preload to the heart. And at higher doses, it can dilate the arteries as well and hence decreases the afterload also. So totally, it gives you free from, it gives you a, um, relief from chest pain. As a side effect, it can cause headache and tachyphylaxis is, is, is seen. That is, repeated use of nitrates can result in diminished action of the drug. This is called as tachyphylaxis. The same tachyphylaxis can, is also seen with desmopressin. Which is which when used in hemophilia, repeated use can cause a decreased action, which is called as tachyphylaxis. Concomitant use with phosphodiesterase by inhibitors, sildenafil, tadalafil has to be avoided to avoid dangerous hypotension. Beta blockers and evabradin, we know, causes bradycardia, thereby uh, decreasing the increasing the blood flow to the heart. Evabradin acts on the funny channels in the SA node. Nicorandil, it is a potassium channel opener, opener causes hyperpolarization and relaxation of the smooth muscles, um, acts by stimulating the cyclic GMP. Trimetazidin, normally, heart derives its the cardiac meiosis, derives its energy from the beta oxidation of fatty acid as well as glucose metabolism. But beta oxidation is the one which consumes more energy therefore this drug stops the beta oxidation of the fatty acids and makes the myocyte use glucose as its source of energy hence the energy consumption during glucose metabolism is far less when compared to the beta oxidation of fatty acids this trimetazidine acts by inhibiting enzyme called long chain 3 keto coenzyme A ranolazine Normally, depolarization in cardiac myocytes occurs via the entry of sodium in the entry of so sodium. What happens in hypoxic arteries, that is ischemic tissues is this sodium channel remains open for a longer period. Hence, more sodium enters into the cell and this more sodium in turn causes calcium release from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. This calcium can cause contraction thereby increasing the energy consumption. This ranolazin acts by closing that late inward sodium channels. 